Hi everyone. So I've had a request from a friend to post a video of my dogs. Um, because the last one I posted was just of one of my dogs and it was with the old webcam, so it was like quality. So here we go. This, this little guy right here, this is Lando. Say hi. Um, he is a Yorkshire Terrier. He is uh, nearly three years old. His birthday is in February. He's a real sweetheart. As you can see, he's not a yappy dog. Um, he doesn't bark very much. I normally put a t-shirt on him. And I keep a t-shirt on him when it's cold or it's wet or both. Um, he's really sweet. He's funny. Obviously, he needs a haircut, but um, you can kind of see his face if I kind of move the hair a little bit. Lando was actually found um, when we were living in Madrid. I rescued him from a really awful pet store. They were throwing out their old stock, uh, i.e. the animals, um, loading them into a, a white van outside. So they were taking all these guinea pigs and, and bunnies and other things um, from their cages and putting them into a white van, and, uh, from the white van bringing out smaller, too small actually, and especially in the case of the rabbits, they were way too young to be taken from their, from their mothers and uh, replacing the, the older ones. I don't know for a fact where they were going to take the older ones, but I hate to think. I only went in there to buy some hay for my existing rabbits. Despite not speaking any Spanish, I protested when they picked this little guy up um, because he was three and a half months old and therefore had got past the cute puppy stage. How could you, how could you not think that this guy was still really cute, eh? How could you not think that? They picked him up and they um, were taking him out to the van and I just, I, I instinctively, I didn't even think, I just went, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. They sort of said something to me in Spanish and thrust him at me and I took that to mean, well, he's your problem now. So I, I was standing there with this little Yorkie puppy in my hands, and I thought, well, oh, okay then, bye. <laughs> and I ran before they could change their minds. He was sick twice down my front because he was so frightened. He'd probably never been outside that cage he was in, and it was tiny. And I didn't see any water, incidentally, uh, or food. And so I took him home, and I popped him in the kitchen, waited for my husband to come home, and I, I thought, oh, God, how am I going to tell him? My friend uh, Leslie decided she was going to to break the news to him. And before he came into the kitchen, Leslie raced out and said, look, don't go mad. And Harry just went, oh, great. She's brought another animal home, hasn't she? What she brought, what she brought. He went into the kitchen and Lando instantly ran over to him. And Harry was smitten, completely smitten. And, uh, and I said, well, look, you know, we'll, we'll get his shots done. We'll get him muted. We'll either take him to a shelter or we'll find a new home for him ourselves. And Harry said, no, no, you won't. Look at him. How can you put him through any more problems? How can you, you know, he's, he's been through enough. At such a young age, he's been through more than enough already. I think we can make this work. And if we can make this work, let's keep him. So we had him for a year in Madrid. And then when it came to moving to the US, so we sold all our things and we used the money to pay an international pet shipping company. So that's what we did. And so we got them all over here. So this is Lando. Say hi, Lando. <laughs> Totally not interested in the camera. Now this little guy right here is Solo and he is a Basenji Chihuahua Jack Russell mix. Now we don't know for certain. He was found as a stray wandering through the streets of Santa Rosa, California. Oh, don't do that. Gross. Um, he is very sweet and affectionate as you can see. He is kind of afraid of strangers but once he gets to know you and he gets to know that you're perfectly safe, he is your friend for life and he'll always remember you. He uh, is about three, three and a half, we think. We don't know for certain. He had, when he was found, he had no ID, no tags, no chip, nothing. The people who found him spent about a month trying to find his original owners. We can only conclude that um, he's actually an unwanted pet. He definitely wasn't born astray, otherwise he'd pretty much be feral. And as you can see, he's very much not feral. He's totally a lap dog. He loves his cuddles. And when I come home in the evening and I haven't seen him all day, he will actually jump onto my lap and he'll put both paws over this shoulder and he'll lean into my neck and that's like a cuddle, that's like his way of giving me a cuddle and he only does that when I first come home from work or when I've just fed him, they're the only two occasions he'll actually do that. He's, he's very, very sweet and kind and cuddly, a very affectionate little dog. We've had Solo since November or December of 2008. We don't put any clothes on him because A, he hates it, and B, he doesn't need them. He's got a proper, a proper coat. Lando the Yorkie only has 
the, uh, the top coat. Yorkies lack the dense insulating undercoat, which is why in combination with his small size he gets so cold so quickly, to the point where he can't go out for a walk, he'll just stand there shivering because he's so cold. Um, so it's not fair on him if we don't put a t-shirt on him. That's my two doggies. Um, I love them very much. Thanks.